Well, I'm really excited about CultureScope, the opportunity to find out the differences as well as the commonalities with each other's cultures. This is going to be a very important part of how we go forward over the next 50 years as a nation. We're a multicultural society, we always have been. And that idea of how we interact with each other, especially people of different faiths, different backgrounds, different races, maybe they speak a different language at home. It's not just a fact, it's something that we have to be curious about and we have to understand. As we have to explain ourselves, we've got to teach our friends and our families and other people around us about ourselves as well, how we see the world, how we seek our culture, our religion, our beliefs and our worldviews. So I think CultureScope is a great opportunity to get all these things done and I'm very glad that OnePeople.sg has been able to put together such an exciting program. CultureScope is a narratives-driven learning journey where participants explore elements of our social fabric by having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with community hosts. Participants will gain cultural understanding and awareness through a unique framework which focuses on personal experiences and narratives. Where our Singaporeans are concerned, where even our religion is concerned, there is a lot of tolerance now. Singaporeans themselves know about us. That is also now one of our challenge to spread it to people who are not so familiar. Peranakan culture embodies both the Chinese community as well as the local Malay community. It's about how this overseas community, they celebrated Chinese festivals, they had Chinese family names, but uh, at the same time assimilated locally with their clothing, with their language, with their music. It opened my mind about the different stereotypes there in Singapore, about different races and how true they are or how untrue they are to a certain extent. I think it's important to understand different cultures because one day someone or the social media tells you something bad about a specific culture, you will immediately believe it and you go against that culture as that's a first impression. We actually get to understand about different cultures and get to know more about the truth and the fact, not like what we think and what we assume. Once you start understanding why they're doing it and what they're doing, you will feel like it's the right thing and you'll start accepting them. I may differ from you in speaking languages. I may differ from you in wearing the dress, but we are all belonging to humanity, and that is one humanity. Each race must try to understand the racial pattern of another race, and then come to an understanding about that. Without having your own preconceived notions about that. We it's really helpful because it allows me to see the multifaceted races, ethnic group, and especially in a diverse society like Singapore. I would want every one of us to really try our best to reach out to another race or ethnicity so that they will get a chance to know you and you will get a chance to know them. This is how you really help Singapore and advance the work of OnePeople.sg. Respecting one another, we need now to get the heads of the various groups to sit down and spawn the idea in schools. The comfort of the human spirit in the midst of this diversity, that is the idea of independence and freedom. It is very important for Singapore, as Singapore is a cosmopolitan country. Every one of us needs each other. Practically all religion teaches good moralities. If you do good, you will be blessed, regardless of race, regardless of religion. It's very important for us to learn about each other's culture. So I think when we have that understanding and that acceptance of each other, I think that just makes the entire experience of life uh, much better. We have to suspend judgment because that really uh, helps us when we meet people. The best way is to keep on learning, to find out more, to ask 
other members of the community, what are your experiences, what are your stories? I do believe that with more outreach programs, like especially from the different ethnic groups, to perhaps um, share about their community, I think that would be a great way to reach out to them and it's also far more inclusive and welcoming. The fabric of Singapore is changing so much, every community has a different story to share and that's what makes living in Singapore so rich and so, so different from perhaps a lot of other places. The four ethnic groups have done their best for nation building and significant contribution. And that story has to be told. So it's a very precious space that we've got and we need to tell the right story. We need to tell story to inspire the young. We need to tell the story that will give ourselves a pride in our identity, in our language, our culture. So we want to build on that, not simply to live on the past, but to inspire the future.